Now we've got her all greased up. It's time to put on the hydraulic thumb. I'm gonna spray these bolts down with some WD-40 and let them set just to make it a little easier to get the nuts off. And I just realized that I missed a grease fitting, but because of how it's recessed, I can't get a socket on it. So I'm gonna use a little trick my dad taught me, the flathead screwdriver and a hammer. There we go. First thing I noticed was there's a lot of slop right here that I don't really like. So I went to the store and got two one inch washers that we're gonna put right in there. I'm gonna take that bolt off, but I've lost my hammer. Here it is. We've got the thumb and cylinder buttoned up. It's time to put the hydraulic hoses on, but <clears throat> it's a preference thing for me anyways. So I want, when I press my foot pedal forward, I want my thumb to close. And when I press it back, I want the thumb to open. And I'll show you how to determine your hose placement from the thumb to the machine. So the best way to determine uh, which pressure line to attach your, uh, the hose from your thumb to, put your finger on the inlet of one hose and pull the ram in, push it out. So when I'm pulling the ram in, it's opening the thumb and this, right, this hose right here is, is sucking air. So that's the pressure for opening the thumb. And vice versa, if I put my finger on this hose and I push the ram open and it closes the thumb, I'm getting suction on my finger through this hose. So now we have to determine on the machine what the foot pedal controls, whether it gives pressure to this line pushing forward or this line pushing forward. So now we've determined that pushing forward sends pressure into this hose, and if we want the forward to close the thumb, then we need it to be on this hose. Also I should mention, uh, before you hook up the hoses up, make sure you get all the air out of this cylinder so you don't get air in your lines. So just pull that all the way up, and that pushes all the air out, and uh, you, can, you can tie this thumb up so it doesn't sink in, but it's not gonna sink all that much. So you're not gonna get that much air in the lines anyways. And then we'll bleed them uh, when we first turn on the machine anyways. And make sure you relieve the pressure off the hydraulic hoses before removing the retaining caps because those hoses are pressurized after testing. 
and as you unscrew the retaining caps, the caps will go flying and has the potential of messing up your threads. Now we have the hoses attached. I'm going to crack this line just a little bit to uh, bleed any stuck air uh, out of the line. like everything is good to go and I don't see any leaks so the thumb is successfully on one more thing I noticed right off uh, was every time I got on and off the mini X this deck that they have here is super slick uh, doesn't matter if your boots are wet or dry or you got dirt on them or they're clean uh, you're gonna slip and slide all over the place so I went to uh, tractor supply and got some uh, non-skid tape and I'm gonna install that on the, uh, on the floor here to help with getting on and off and not busting my butt when I do. Make sure you clean it real good, get all the, the loose dirt off, and then I'm gonna go back over it with, with some denatured alcohol. Uh, it's used great for cleaning stuff. Then I'll install the tape. That sums it up for the hydraulic thumb portion of the video and uh, non-skid tape, please like, share, comment below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. More videos to follow. Uh, now let's take it outside and put it to the test, taking down a medium to small size tree. All right, something a little bit bigger than a sap. too bad a little jumpy back and forth uh, took down a uh, 10 inch tree uh, took 22 minutes but it had a massive tap root I didn't realize it had a tap root I'm not a tree guy so I can't tell you what kind of tree it is it was just a tree back here on the fence that needed to come down anyways but uh, not too bad for a uh, one and a half ton gasoline powered mini X uh, the thumb worked great the bucket worked good. It dug the, the ground, which as you can tell is frozen uh, pretty well. So I, uh, I'm not upset with it. There is a couple of modifications that I'd like to do. Uh, one, I'd like to figure out how to, to extend these pedals. Uh, me being 6'1", I'm a, not a small guy, so uh, my feet get, uh, get caught up on these pedals a lot. So I'm gonna try to extend these out here uh, because this boom doesn't swivel, I don't think it's going to affect uh, 
affect anything right here as far as getting in the way. Uh, but your feet would be outside the canopy, so if anything fell on it, it would land on your on your feet. Also, I would like to try to figure out a way to extend the blade. Uh, I think it, as long as it doesn't throw off the balance, I think it could be a, a more far forward. Uh, I don't think it it catches the machine the way that it should. Uh, so I'll I'll look into that. Maybe uh, welding on some more brackets and uh, extending that out. Uh, that probably won't be anything done right quick but uh, i'll look for that in the future also if anyone who has these machines uh can think of any other uh modifications that i could do to make this a little bit more effective then uh then hit me up uh message me or, or leave me a comment in the section below uh i do plan on doing a few more of these videos uh please like share follow and if you uh, have any modifications that you'd like me to, to see me do on my machine, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll see if I can't do that too.